Julie Grabach, <laughs> Jim Rosemount Rashwick on the Seagull Discovered Project Runway. Yes. And what was it like before then? Tell us backtrack. Um, Project Runway. How was I guess fashion's been something that I've wanted to do for years. So ever since the age of eight or yeah. something. And um, that was pretty much when I knew what I wanted to do. So after school I tried to get into Mount Cravat Tape, which is um, a big fashion school in Brisbane and they said no and I was absolutely devastated. You didn't get it? No. So I was like, what am I going to do? So then I tried to get into Gateway Tape, which is just a certificate not a diploma. And I got into Gateway Tape. So then the next year I applied to get into Mount Cravat again. And they said no, it just wasn't the right thing. Um, so I studied at Tape for two years. I worked at the pharmacy part time. And then after Tape, I just thought, if you want, I need to just actually get out there and get in the room and do it. And do it. So um, I worked for Eastern Pearson for free. Um, I did work experience for a month. And then they offered me a job, and I was um, their hand sewer there for a year. And then I thought, I've sort of learned everything I can at this stage. I need to go overseas. They would work um, from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. in the mail room in Singapore. And from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., I'd work at Easter Pearson. And then from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., I'd work at the I'm pharmacy. Already tired. So that was like three jobs in one day. But that's just what you have to do. I finally moved to London. And I went there and I got a job for a company called Voyage and um, it was amazing they made clothes for like Spos Posh Spice and um, Elton John and stuff and I was the head hand sewer but I got paid four pounds fifty an hour <laughs> so I, I stuck it out for a year and a half I, I was earning no money but I was around the industry and that's so important yeah so um, I stayed at that job for a year and a half and I went okay I think I've learnt everything I can so I thought there's got to be a way that I've got to stick with this so I can keep on making women feel beautiful and even if it means working for free or three jobs in the same day that's okay because one day it will pay off and yeah women all around the world and that inspires you to help we can feel that's, beautiful that's, in your dress. That's what I do it for. I'm not driven yeah, by money or whatever. It's I'm driven by a woman putting on a dress and going, oh, Julie, I haven't felt like this in years. Or I feel so, you know, when yeah. a girl feels good and I'm responsible for that. So, yes. When you want to do something, you have to just keep striving to keep on, to keep with it and keep going. So, yeah. So, your advice to the girls oh, that are going to keep signing is to just, um, <laughs> like, when you get kicked along yeah. the way and it's not a nice thing that happens or you might not make money doing something but do it anyway it's a really hard industry and you just have to keep believing in yourself and another really important thing is get a support system around you so good group of friends yeah good and support, family yeah. that people that believe in you and sort of when you want to quit family. say you can't quit keep going and you know follow your dreams yeah, do what you it's love it's important i honestly feel like I'm just at the start actually. I've yeah, been in the industry for 12 years now and um, I've had my own business for seven years but I still feel like I'm just at the beginning. Yeah. Who are you looking forward to seeing today? Um, Rachel Gilbert. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, well thank you.